Greetings, guys, girls, and non-binary pals. If you came here looking for a cool way to learn literature, then you're in the right place. This blog will tackle everything. From the classics to all the Middle English legends. From the bar genius dramas and comedies to the romantics, dramaticism, and theatrics. From the beginnings of the literary American dream to the rapid realization that the dream is more of a dark nightmare. From the art and ashes of rebellion to the philosophical revolt against the universe. From the transcendental treaties about humanity and nature to the offbeat road trips of spatial and personal discovery. From the slow and steady steps of the civil, queer and feminist rights to the contemporary communities of respect and acceptance. And what a better way to learn all of this, sometimes boring but not really, stuff, than with memes. Yes, you heard it correctly, memes, millennials and Gen Zers' main form of communication. With this, you will learn not only to appreciate the literary classics and modern masterpieces, but also to relate to them through a language you will understand. Ain't that fun? This project is aimed to engage teenagers with literature and through it, teach them content related to emotional management and feelings. And what a better way to do that than relating it with love. This topic is justified through the Real Decreto, as it allows to discuss cross-curricular subjects. Also, it answers contemporary concerns and necessities. Furthermore, when discussing literature, they will not only be learning English, but also considering the different issues that those literary works present. Therefore, it will be useful to foster their critical thinking and analytic skills, as well as develop the fundamental four skills of listening, reading, speaking, and writing. It also caters to their different intelligences and helps them develop them while still being able to learn the language. The methodology for this project will be a project-based methodology, redundant as it sounds. <laughs> And it will work as a collective activity in which the teacher will upload the literary memes and explain the overall meaning and themes within the literature they are related to, but give space for the students to include their own reflections about the topic of discussion. The students will be active participants on the literature post of the blog. They will have to create their own blogs and also participate not only with comments and opinions, but also with literature posts of their own. This type of dynamic will not only foster the students' creativity and autonomy on their own learning process, but also will increase their intrinsic motivation, as it will be like creating our own literary social network. This will be an in-home activity. The students will be able to post and participate as much as they want, but at least they will have to create a post per week and comment on one of the posts created by the teacher. The teacher's role would be as a guide, contributor and assistant, they will provide you topics of debate and commentary on their reflections, guide the students through the learning process and assist them on their doubts and uncertainties about the themes dealt on the blog. The evaluation process will be based on the quality and quantity of the entries they create and the comments they make on the posts created by the teacher and their other classmates. All of their posts will create an online portfolio of their work and improvement on the topic that the teacher will be able to evaluate. The constant comments and feedback that the students will be able to give, not only to the teacher's entries, but also on their classmates, will serve as peer evaluation for the older students, as the comments will have to have some sort of critical conclusion on the post the student has written on their blog and the quality of it. There will also be a process of self-evaluation, as their last post for the activity will be a reflection on their own learning process, the effectiveness of the method and what they thought was missing. This will also serve as feedback for the teacher. A feedback form with some important questions will be given to them to help them complete this activity. The self-evaluation survey will have questions such as Did you find this project challenging? Were the instructions clear enough? Would you change some aspects of this project? Did you find it fun, interesting, motivating? What did you learn? Have you shown involvement in the task and work collaboratively? Write five hashtags that define this activity. Now, I'll leave you with an example of this type of project based on the eight types of loves the Greeks believed in. With this, the students will not only learn about these different types of loves, but will also learn about the different literary works they are related to. Thanks for everything, and I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye!